Alright, now it's been a while since we have received this One UI 5.0 beta on the Galaxy S22 series. Uh, we have already seen loads of features on the S22 Ultra on the channel. Uh, there are loads of improvements, loads of new features. In this video, I'm going to share something interesting. We are going to see and compare the color palette feature on One UI 4.1 and One UI 5.0. Let's see whether there is any real improvement, any changes when it comes to color palettes. On Android 12, we always had inconsistent application of color palettes on the device. The feature was not really working as intended on the One UI 4.0. Now here on the left hand side, I've got the Galaxy S22 Ultra on uh, the beta version of One UI 5.0 and on the right hand side, the Note 20 Ultra on One UI 4.1. I've already applied a colorful wallpaper here. As you can see, we have got some uh, wavy pattern wallpaper. I will just press and hold on both these devices and tap on wallpaper and style. Now here I will tap on color palette. Instantly you will notice the changes here. We have got color palettes toggle on the top on the One UI 5.0 where we can just toggle it off if you don't want to apply any of these colors on the phone. If you want it, you will have to turn it on. Whereas on the previous iteration, we had this standard default color palette on the left hand side by tapping on which we will select the default theme. Now on the newer version, you can also see we have got wallpaper colors and basic colors. There are two options right below this color palette toggle. On the newer version, we have got plenty of color combinations here. We have got almost six 16 combinations under wallpaper colors and on the basic colors we have got some solid color options along with two color pair options as well. We'll come to that in a bit. Now let me just tap on wallpaper colors. As you can see we have got six different color options here from the same wallpaper which I have applied on both the devices. Now let me just select one of these color palettes here on both the devices. I'll select this bluish tone and I'll tap on apply. Now let's compare and see how uniformly this color palette has been applied as a theme on the phone. Let's see the notification. As you can see, we have got the blue tones on both the versions of One UI. I will just tap on the settings now. Here you can see on the older version, the blue tone or any other color tone has not been applied on this menu. Whereas on the newer version, we have got the header, the settings in color, and we also have this blue tint all over the settings options here. Now let me just open the connections. As you can see again, we have got this blue tint here. Whereas on the older version, we see the color palette applied only on these toggles. And yeah, to some extent, at the bottom of the screen, you can see we have got some colors here. Now let me go back. I will tap on battery and device care. Again here, we can see all these color palette applied on the newer version. Now let's go back. Let me tap on a calculator. Here on both the versions on the system applications, the color palettes are being applied uniformly. I will just go back. I'll tap on phone application. Here on the dial, there is no colors as such, but at the bottom you can see on the keypad, recents and contacts menu options, you can see that color being applied here on the newer version. Whereas on the previous version, it is in white or it is grayed out. Now this was in the dark mode. Let me just apply the light mode on both the devices. As you can see the notification here, similar color patterns are applied. I will just go to the settings now. Here you can see the color palettes are not applied on either of these versions of One UI. Let's tap on a battery and device care. Yeah, now here we have got some application. It looks pretty similar, but here you can see on the pills, there is color palette application. Whereas in the previous version, we have the default colors here. Even the header of this menu has got the colors here, as you can see, which is good on the newer version. But in the light mode, I feel the application of this color palette is pretty minimal. Let me open a calculator here. It looks similar. Let me just open the phone dialer. Again, it's almost similar. So on the light mode, the color palettes are not that pronounced. Now let me just turn the dark mode back on. Now I'm going to show you something really interesting. Let's press and hold on the home screen and tap on wallpaper and style and tap on color palette. Now let's select the basic color options we have on the One UI 5.0. Now these color options provide a uniform and much more pronounced themes on the system. Let me show you that. As you can see here, even though the green color is not available on this particular wallpaper, it is showing me green color. Let me just tap on this green and tap on apply. Here on the older version, I will just apply one of these colors. Now let me tap on gallery. As you can see, 
all the album names are in green the numbers are in green the hamburger menu is also shown in green and we have got the selected item at the bottom of the screen in green whereas on the previous version there is no theming whatsoever inside the gallery application now let's go to settings now here it is strange to see there is no color palettes applied on the settings options as you can see the background is dark gray which is similar to one ui 4.1 what i'm trying to say is there is still inconsistencies the way it applies these color palettes on the system is still not uniform all that has changed is additional options for color palettes we now have wallpaper colors plus the basic colors but when we apply it on the system the color palettes are not uniformly applied of course when we apply the basic colors it looks much better compared to the one ui 4.1 there is certainly some improvements but i was really expecting more i was expecting a better application of color palettes a better theming which is not there yet However, this is still the beta version of One UI 5.0. We will have a couple of more betas to come and on the stable, I hope this improves. I hope Samsung works on the color palette options. Whenever we apply these color palettes, we want to see the colors on all the system applications, the menus, the overlay options, and many more parts of the skin. Let's hope to see this in the future. But that's just my opinion. Please let me know what is your opinion. What do you think about this all new color palette options on the One UI 5.0? Has there been any improvement? What do you feel? Do share your thoughts in the comment section below. This is a short review on color palette feature on the all new One UI 5.0 beta. That's all I want to share with you guys. Thanks for watching. You guys take care and stay safe. I will see you in the next one. Cheers. Bye-bye.